are remembering a trailblazer from East Tennessee, the first woman to command an aviation squadron. We're talking about Rosemary Mariner. Yeah, Mariner died January 24th after battling ovarian cancer. This weekend, her family and the U.S. Navy will be honoring her life and legacy with the first ever all-female flyover. Now, she was among the first women to earn naval aviator wings and the first woman to fly a tactical fighter jet. Later in her career, she was a scholar in residence with UT Center for the Study of War and Society. And during the second Gulf War, a contributor right here at WATE. And this On Your Side WATE Spotlight, reporter Madison Keeby hears from the man that knew Mariner best, her husband, what he says their family will remember most about this naval aviation pioneer. Rosemary was very much my best friend. Rosemary Mariner, perhaps best known as a naval aviation pioneer. Her family sees that and more. Rosemary enjoyed life, worked hard to enjoy the people that were in it. Her legacy is full of firsts. The first woman to command a naval squadron, the first woman to enroll in Purdue's aeronautics program and graduate, and the first female aviator in the Navy to fly a jet attack craft. She tended to kick open a lot of doors along the way, and uh, she would always say, uh, don't focus on the first, focus on the fact that people came through behind her, and it continues. Tommy Mariner knows her by another title, his best friend and wife of 33 years. He's a retired commander in the Navy. That's where they met. Mariner was his squadron's point contact at the Naval Weapons Center. We uh, spent one afternoon uh, in the summer of 1977 flirting outrageously, very unprofessionally, uh, in front of our technical rider. Tommy says he's seen Mariner's impact firsthand, not just as a naval aviator, but as a teacher in what he calls her second stride. She was a successful, not being revolutionary in flying, but in, in changing society a little bit so that women could be looked at as people. Tommy says Mariner never believed she was working towards equality on her own, but with women across all branches of the military who came before and those who would follow. Reporting in Norris, Madison Keevy, WATE 6 on your side. All right, thank you, Madison. Captain Mariner's work toward gender equality in naval aviation is still felt today. Yeah, naval aviators who are women say if it was not for Mariner and those first female aviators, they wouldn't have been able to follow their dreams to do the very same thing. Captain Mariner was a woman well ahead of her time. Uh, she was really a true pioneer and to recognize that audacity to hope and pursue your dreams. I think it's really, truly the American dream. Captain Mariner truly was a trailblazer. She basically uh, made it possible for us to do our jobs that we're doing today. Um, I've never had anyone tell me no in the Navy. No one's ever told me I couldn't go on deployment or fly in a jet aircraft. And those are the types of things that women like Captain Mariner were up against. Now, the first all-female flyover, officially called a missing man flyover, will happen tomorrow as a tribute to Mariner. It is scheduled for 2.30 at the new Loyston Cemetery in Hickory Valley between Andersonville and Maynardville. It will include nine female aviators. An appropriate send-off, I would say. Definitely.